Okay, uh, we're gonna do something here. Yeah, I'm in a new location. Uh, this is like a, I'm calling this, I'm gonna call this my reading corner, or the reading corner, okay? It's a corner because, okay, let's start all over. Uh, this is the room I sleep in when here in my sister's house. It's, uh, it's where you see my grandmother's picture right there. And right now in the, my ADOS corner over there, I actually have my brother's altar that I'm working on for the nine, you know, the nine nights thing. But more on that some other time. Anyway, but I, I came across something that I um, I knew about this for a long time, but I just, I, that, anyway, I just came about it. This is something that was uh, written, I know about uh, uh, Chiran, uh, Chiran? Well, Chiran. Chiran, the town that threw out police, politicians, and gangsters. All right? It's by Linda Presley uh, for BBC News, and she reported in Chiran, Mexico. Um, and it's dated uh, October 13th, 2016. I'm just going to read a little bit and I'll put the link with you, but this is very important. I think it's very important. Uh, the women met in secret to make their plans. They were sickened by the killings and kidnappings that had become routine and angered by the mass men who roamed their town demanding extortion payments from small businesses and for more than three years had uh, they had watched it uh, in uh, uh, indignant as truck after truck uh, 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 trottled, I don't know what that word is, uh, passed their homes and piled high, uh, piled high with fresh cut logs. Mexico's cartels once focused mainly on the drug trade, uh, but they uh, have diversified their business model and now seek to dominate any lucrative business, any lucrative industry, including uh, timber, the foundation of Jiren's economy. Uh, by 2011, I don't like laptops, sorry about that. By 2011, the, uh, the loggers were getting close to one of Chiren's um, water springs. And we were worried, uh, remembers Marie, Margarita uh, Evera Ro Romero, one of the conspirators. If, if you cut the trees, there's less water. Our husbands have cattle. They would, uh, where would they drink if the springs were gone? Sorry about this. The group of women went into the forest to try and reason with the armed men. They were verbally abused and chased away. So their plan evolved. Now, they knew it to be too dangerous to confront the loggers in the forest at the springs. They determined uh, to stop the trucks in town where they would have a support of their neighbors. Okay, Early Friday, uh, uh, early Friday, 15 April 2011, uh, Terence uh, Levit Levita Manito, uh, or, or uprising, began. On the, ro on the road coming uh, down from the forest outside Margarita's home, the women blockaded the loggers' pickups and took some of, their, uh, took some of them hostage. Um, as the church bells, let me go back. I should come back right now. They said, well, these women are doing some stuff. I, I realized... I, I've been to this, I've been here, uh, um, this this uh, province, whatever, I've been here, uh, it's, it's Moch Mokatan. Anyway, the reason why I was there, I, I traveled all over Mexico, but it was a long story. But anyway, they made the best hammocks. Okay, everybody think they make the best hammocks, but you could do up the, where the Yucatan, where, no, 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 no. They had the best hammocks. I had this beautiful blue hammocks. It's just this color, this color blue. I don't I can't even, it's this vibrant blue hammock. And I carried, in fact, when I went, I used to have it on when I'm low east side, um, my low east side apartment, I had a loft bed and the hammock was under. I, I was hanging up there because usually when, I love hammocks, by the way. Usually when I'm traveling, whatever I have, what I do is, uh, like for instance, when I was in, uh, when I was in, uh, Living in Guatemala on the other side of the river. But what I would do is uh, uh, sleep, sleep, start sleeping in the hammock or reading in the hammock, right? Some would go down. And somewhere in the middle of the night, I, you know, I, I, whatever, and I go into bed. So I always love hammocks. Anyway, this area, the women are in charge. There's this thing one time that uh, the, the political, some political thing, they got to go to the women. The women are in charge. These are some strong women. Let me just, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be that long. Uh, a group of women went into the forest. Just a second. The reason, and I found it in. The church bells of El uh, Calvato, sorry, uh, rang out and fireworks exploded at the dawn skies, alerting the community to danger. The people of Chiran uh, 
came running uh, to help. It, it was it was tense. Hotheads had to be persuaded by the women not to string up the hostages from the ancient trees outside the church. Everyone in the streets was running and around like like, like with machetes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm not I'm gonna stop right there because the reason why I'm bringing this up because the upshot of this is basically if they say it here it's a long article. Look, I'm just say the upshot. The upshot of this, they got rid of the police. They got rid of the politicians, and most of all, they got rid of the gangsters, the criminals, right? So in other words, they didn't need a police force. Because, <laughs> um, see, they didn't need a law. I like to say, I like, like, like say what Mr. Neely Fuller says. They didn't need law enforcement because the people who make the law, right, they have to be, you know, police is different, man. Police, you know, they're supposed to protect themselves. But law enforcement, they do anything to question. Plus this law... Enforcement is hooked up with the with the culprits. You know what I mean? So they did something. They got rid of the police. When they say when these when, right now when they're saying you know get rid of the police, whatever they're saying, right? The, I would say that America is a little bit too complicated. Like it's too complicated. But what should happen is you should get rid of those race soldiers. Get as Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. would say, you have to get rid of uh, and, and, and and the other police should help. If you want to be police, you're a police, either going to be police or law enforcement. Remember, these people that make laws, they, they take take you, the, 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 the supposedly police, and they make you enforce their laws that they made, which they didn't go through you, the downtrodden, you know, they do for their higher people. There is the problem. Well, so when, you say, when, when you say you're going to defund the police, you're actually saying you're going to defund the law enforcers who are, here we go, wait for it, wait for it, race soldiers. Who just want to kill? They have a, a, a mentality of of, of 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 not not a police who are protected. They have a mentality of bang 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 TV soldiers. They have mentality of TV everything, right? Or they've been trained, and so that's all they know. And so when they come back, well, they they want to shoot. They want to shoot. They they ah. And they, if you're a soldier, you know, the worst thing with a soldier, if you have a gun, you if you're gonna if you whenever you point that gun, you got to use it. I mean, you, you don't point unless you're going to use it. Let's put it that way. So let me um let, let me end here. So anyway, I'll, I'll link to this article. It's, I mean, it's just it's all very long, uh, but it's amazing what they did. Got rid of the politician. See, the trick is not just to get rid of of the defunded police. You have to correct those politicians. You have to basically get, vote out the politicians. If you vote out everyone, and, and they got to start new. You vote out the politicians if you want to move no parts, fine. You, 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 make, you make the police people get rid of the law enforcers, right? And the gangsters go, Then, In fact, then the police can deal with the gangsters. Because you know what happens. The gangsters are hooked up with the, with the politicians, who's hooked up with that thing. You know, that's what happened with the South Bronx, with, 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 with drugs, you know? They they intentionally uh, put the drugs in so that the gangs would be fighting, and then they bring the police in. That you, you know how to destroy everything. Anyway, that's that's enough for me. T from the Patterson taking her changes to bed at the at the at my reading corner, letting you know what I researched and what I found out. But for you, I'm only suspecting this. <laughs>